So all of my education has been with Miami-Dade uh, County Public Schools. I went to South High Elementary, Miami Springs Middle, and graduated from Miami Springs Senior High. Uh, then I went on to Florida International University. And my bachelor's degree is in emotionally handicapped education, which is actually a major that does not exist anymore because it's all special ed. Um, but I am a special education teacher by trade. And um, I, I decided and knew that I, this is what I wanted to focus on. This is what I wanted to be because um, I, I spent about 10 years of my life, the last two years of high school, and then, you know, my being a young adult, going back every summer to Honduras, which is where my family's from, and uh, just doing humanitarian work and visiting orphanages and just helping people. And um, in those journeys, I, I realized that the most marginalized kids in at least Honduras were children with a disability. And so I started to do some research and I realized, well, you know, yes, the United States is, is better, uh, but there's still so much that these students need and resources. And um, I just thought if I'm going to be a teacher and I'm passionate about what I do, I really wanted to help children that I didn't think had access to as many things as 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 they needed. Uh, so I became a special education teacher and middle school special. Uh, so I was a science teacher in middle school. Did that for 10 years uh, until I was elected the first Latina secretary treasurer for United Teachers of Dade. I did one term of that and then I became president and now I'm in my third term. I think that um, I, I didn't grow up thinking, you know, one day I'm going to be a union boss. <laughs> I don't know that too many people actually have um, that idea. Uh, it, it's not one of those things that we do in career day. But I knew that my parents taught me about activism. My dad told me, if you can be part of a union, you sign up on the first day. And that's exactly what I did. I was in orientation and I signed up to be a union member. I have my I had my first child. And after I had my first child, it changed a lot of uh, the things that I saw because I was now seeing things from a different perspective, not just as an educator, but I was seeing it as a mom. And I became even more active and I was showing up to rallies at that point uh, in South Florida. They were thinking about closing uh, two of our public schools. And there were a lot of communities that were, you know, garnering support to keep them open. And I, I became involved in making sure that we fought for these schools and that they got the resources that they need. Just showing up, just being an activist, just doing what I thought you know, my my dad would do if he was my age and, you know, fighting for his career. And and that's when I was noticed. I was noticed by uh, being loud, by being a voice, by being an actress, by showing up, by having a sign and letting people know what we were fighting for. And um, that's how I became involved with leadership. Um, that the And Frederick Ingram, who was the secretary treasurer at that time, said to me, um, you know, I was I was much younger then. He said to me, kid, you know, I want you to be a part of leadership. Why don't you run uh, to be an officer for this union? And I, that's something that I never even thought of, you know, before. And I was like, wow, he sees something in me. And um, it's it's been a journey ever since. And it's the passion that I have. And I love what I do. I wake up every day thinking, you know, we're helping our educators, we're helping teachers, we're helping students, we're fighting for public education. And it just means everything to me because my kids are part of the public school. And I know that what I do and how I help doesn't just impact my kids, but it impacts our entire community. And so it's important.